All right, Shalom. Uh, all praise, glory, and honor going to the Most High Power, Yahweh, in the name of His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors going to the apostles and unto the elders of Great Millstone that rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom and salutations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers that's out there that um you know push this work with truth and with faith. I'm Thabwa Ahmath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but um i woke up this morning just you know checking around on the internet but the main topic uh which is you know at this point kind of expected is my man's here my main man mr donald j trump all right uh president donald j trump man all right and uh of course it's just got like a big frenzy going on um a lot of people upset about whatever this guy does and then you know you got other people that send uh, great support of what this guy does man but he's definitely the guy that's gonna you know cause uh, uh, things to go down man uh, according to the scriptures you know the things that the scriptures speak of uh, it's all gonna go down due to this guy John, uh, Donald J. Trump now this man has been in office since um today's uh december i'm sorry it's like january uh 31st so he's been in office since um january 10th and he's already done a lot of things with 21 days basically three weeks he's uh he's done a lot of things and actually real quick i'm gonna play this clip i'm not gonna show it on camera but i'm gonna play the audio i'm not gonna show it on camera because i don't want them to um I don't want them to uh, uh, come and try to uh, use some type of copyright thing against me. So I'm gonna see if I can play the audio and see if it uh, see if it uh, uh, lets me play. So let's just listen to this. Now let's take a moment to reflect on the first week of the Trump presidency. We could do this by dissecting the things that he's done and have made headlines, and then attempt to comprehend the ramifications. Or we could just list every single action that he's taken because I think perhaps the enormity of that alone is quite remarkable. In his first week as president, Donald Trump signed his first executive order starting the rollback of Obamacare. He took control of the nuclear codes and declared January 20, his inauguration day, the national day of patriotic devotion. His White House spokesman lied in his first press briefing by saying the inauguration... All right, hey, Salak, real quick, I uh, pause the video. Uh, he's only been in since January 20th all right today's the 31st so he's only been in for 11 weeks it hasn't been um, it has not been as long as I said at the beginning I said he's been in for three weeks but uh, really he's only been in for uh, 11 days all right uh, you know so his his first week just kind of passed he's working his way through his second week right now and what this guy that I'm reading all right, he's um, he's uh, uh, gonna read off everything that he's done in his first week. So I'm gonna run it back a little bit, and then we're gonna uh, just listen to it. And then attempt to comprehend the ramifications. Or we could just list every single action that he's taken, because I think perhaps the enormity of that alone is quite remarkable. In his first week as president, Donald Trump signed his first executive order starting the rollback of Obamacare. He took control of the nuclear codes and declared January 20, his inauguration day, the national day of patriotic devotion. His White House spokesman lied in his first press briefing by saying the inauguration sizes were the biggest in history and a senior Trump advisor defended the lies, saying they were alternative facts. He ordered the National Park Service off Twitter after retweeting images comparing Obama's and Trump's inauguration crowds. Trump planted staffers to cheer and applaud at a speech he gave to the CIA. He bypassed anti-nepotism laws to hire his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, as a senior White House advisor. His office confirmed that he would never release his tax records. President Trump withdrew America from the TPP, a multinational economic deal that's been seven years in the making. It's alleged the president allowed his businesses to take money from foreign governments, which this week saw him face a new lawsuit for breaching the Constitution. 
The president repeated the claims that the election suffered from mass voter fraud, confirming that he would launch an investigation and claiming that three to five million votes were illegitimate. Specifically, he raised concerns about people being registered to vote in two different states. And while there is no evidence to suggest that voter fraud exists in the millions, this week it was revealed his White House spokesman, whom I mentioned earlier, is registered to vote in two states, as is the son-in-law that I mentioned. It was also revealed this week his youngest daughter Tiffany, his White House strategist Stephen Bannon and his Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin are all also registered to vote in two states. And he reinstated a global gag rule which cuts all US funding from international NGOs that offer and counsel women on abortion. The next day his party passed a bill that permanently bans American women from using federal funds or private health insurance towards abortion services. He vowed to cut funding to violence against women's programs as well as national arts and humanities, legal services, minority business development programs, public broadcasting and the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. Trump's administration removed the Spanish version of the White House website and deleted pages on civil rights, LGBT rights and climate change. He overturned the ban on two major oil and gas projects the protesters claim could contaminate water and destroy sacred land. He ordered a total media blackout on the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Agriculture and Health and Human Services. He also imposed a hiring and regulatory freeze across government agencies, except for the military and some public safety sectors. President Trump drafted orders to temporarily suspend America's refugee intake with an indefinite ban on Syrians. He also announced plans to halve America's asylum program. He drafted plans to suspend new visas for people from Iraq, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan and Yemen. The president also drafted a plan to open CIA black sites around the world to reintroduce torture as an interrogation technique. President Trump moved to redirect allocated federal funds to start building a $20 billion wall on the southern border. After Mexico again refused to pay for that wall, Trump tweeted a suggestion to the Mexican president that he cancel their upcoming meeting. He did. Trump then flagged a 20% tax on imported Mexican goods in order to recoup the cost of the wall. President Trump announced that he will publish a weekly list of crimes committed by immigrants and he stripped federal funds from US cities that provide sanctuary for illegal immigrants. He also laid the legal groundwork for mass deportation. And that was week one. All right, so uh, what you just heard was all the things that he did in his first week uh, taking office, you know, which pretty much was everything that he said he was gonna do um, during his campaign, you know, and people cheered him on and now that he actually got in there and hit the ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? He fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, did everything that they said that he promised he was going to do. Not everything, but, you know, the, the uh, good uh, portion of it, you know. And now people are uh, freaking out, man. Now people are uh, bugging out. And it's caused a lot of uh, civil unrest uh, here in the States. Now, I'm going to show you RT. Uh, the website RT uh, Russia Today. All right, I like to check this website a lot. I got an app on my phone, um, and it just brings out uh, different different news clips. But I'm not really gonna go into any of these uh, these little articles. I just want to show you that a lot of it is is focused and centered around Donald Trump. All right, uh, Muslims. A uh, vast majority of Muslims has access to the U.S., says the Homeland Security head and who defends Trump's order, all right, which uh, the guy spoke about. He's got that Muslim ban. That's the hot thing in the news. That's what's everywhere in the news right now, all right? Um, let's see. It says, uh, um, uh, boycott Trump's America, all right? So people are, I guess, the, the anonymous, he's released the White House's phone number. Uh, Trump administration sends armored vehicles to uh, to Syrian rebels. All right, Iran to dump the U.S. dollar in response to Trump's travel ban. Okay, because uh, just like we heard, he's banned seven countries from uh, from any of the uh, uh, citizens there to get a visa to come here to America. All right, let's see. Um, uh, 
so uh, you got the um, uh, Democrats that boycott the committee to vote for health and treasuries uh, secretaries. All right, you got um, you got the it says the media is against Donald Trump. The soft coup, the U.S. establishment goes to war with President Donald Trump. Um, I mean, it'll go on. It will just continue. Thousands rally in U.S. against Trump's Muslim travel ban. Um, you know, you get the point that a, a majority of the news is pretty much based around uh, Donald Trump. Even if this is news for the UK, the UK section, uh, 48 British rebels cite Holocaust and uh, condemnation of Trump's Muslim ban. You know, so they got a lot of things. A lot of guys, a lot of people are turning against uh, Donald Trump. You see the sign that says, my America is kinder, braver and smarter than this you know people are pretty uh <laughs> people no matter what this guy does this guy donald j trump all right no matter what he does people are going to be unhappy about it because they just they're looking for some reason to um they're looking for some reason to fucking uh, uh cause some uproar man pretty much you know but the scriptures tell us that you know, uh, a house that's divided against itself isn't going to stand, man. That's the main staple here. This is Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And Yahweh Shad knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's exactly what you have here in America. And that's, you know, uh, we've been saying this. When I say we, I'm talking about the brothers that's uh, within Great Millstone from the apostles on down. We've been saying that uh, this country was divided against itself for uh, the, the entire time, you know, the, starting with the Democrats and the Republicans themselves is as a division. But now you even got a huge uh, civil division, which started with the election process of uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, man. You know, uh, that's when you really was able to see this great divide uh, between uh, uh, between this nation, which is going to fall. Which is going to be brought to desolation, according to uh, biblical scriptures, man. Let's um look up this word divide. Divided. Um, let's look up this word. All right, I'm not good with Greek, so. Strong's G thirty three oh seven, Merizo. 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 All right. It says um, divide, distribute, deal, be difference between, give part. All right. To divide, to separate into parts, cut into pieces, to divide into parties. All right. Be split into factions. Is that not what we have here uh, with America? With different parties and uh, different factions. You got the uh, the anti-Trump and you got the pro-Trump. Right. It says uh, to distribute a thing among people to bestow in part. Um, let's see, it says, uh, to, to separate into parts, cut into pieces. Um, uh, has Jehovah Shai himself, whom ye claim as yours, been like yourselves divided into parts, so that one has one part and another, another part? Um, let's see, it says, uh, punctuate, so as to take it as in exclamatory exclamatory uh, declaration all right uh, differ in their aims fellow or follow different interests okay um, there is a difference between to divide into parties be split into factions uh, to be at variance with oneself to rebel against oneself all right Americans are divided and uh, rebelling against their own country. You know they don't want to uh, apply with um, you know with <laughs> the king that they have selected. And um, even here, one of the big news stories is that Trump has released. Actually, it's on this page. Trump has fired the uh, acting uh, attorney general because she declined to defend that travel ban that he set up, all right? So he fired her. And there's a lot more people that he's gonna get out, man. He's undone everything that fucking Obama has put together. And he's just taking this thing in the direction that he wants to take it in, man. Which ultimately is gonna end up in war because he's gonna end up pissing everybody off, man, you know? But he's gonna, if you're not, if all those uh, high officials, high American officials that's not trying to get down with this guy, 
he's gonna get them the fuck out of there, man. He's gonna, he's gonna, uh, uh, you know, send them out. So, let's continue. Um, it says uh, to distribute a thing among persons, uh, to divide a thing with one. All right, so that's pretty much the point of the word divide, and uh, you know that that scripture really really speaks for itself. But um. Like I, I did make mention that this guy Donald Trump is going to uh, He's going to piss everybody off Because there's other nations that's already getting pissed off Those Muslim nations that he banned Is uh, uh, already pissed off at him Because he's banned them He's banned um, or, uh, You got uh, certain European countries That are uh, uh, Against him For that he's already fucking with Mexico You know Mexico is going to stop being an ally Of the US Underneath this uh, Donald Trump you know, it said that he's uh, <laughs> he stopped a uh, uh, abortion funding. You know, he's cut out countries that support the abortion. You know, what I'm saying he's uh, he's done away with the TPP. And, and this man's making a lot of moves, man. But pretty much, he's gonna cause the entire world to hate America, which is you know, what I'm saying fuck America, man. America has done nothing for the countries of this world other than uh, uh, raped, robbed, and murdered. You know, the American Edomites. All right. The, uh, the house of Esau itself is divided, you know? The house of Esau itself is divided, you know? Because the American Edomites, they differ themselves from the uh, the Russian Edomites, right? And the Russian Edomites differ themselves from the British Edomites. And the British Edomites differ themselves from the French Edomites. And the French Edomites differ themselves from the German Edomites, you know? And, it, I mean, it just goes on and on. They, they all differ themselves. They all don't count them. They all count themselves as separate uh, uh, nations when really they're all just the house of Esau let's get to revelations the 17th chapter this video is already going longer than I expected it to but um, let's just get this and then I'm, uh, I'm going to wrap it up this is revelation 17 um, let me see well let's start at one all right I'm, I'm going to jump around in this chapter a little bit it says and there came one of the seven angels which had seven vials and talked to me saying come Hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. That great whore is America. It's Babylon the Great, you know. Uh, uh, Trump's great America. Trump's uh, restored, uh, uh, regenerated America that he's building. All right. It's a great whore. It says it sitteth upon many waters, meaning those other nations, you know, those other peoples. Uh, America's, uh, uh, they, call, uh, they call it the defender of the free world, you know. Trump is the uh, the leader of the free world, is what they say, right? Um, it says, uh, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. You know, all of America's uh, 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 policies, it's democracy that is forced upon uh, a, a good number of the the, um, the nations in the world, all right? Uh you know, and it, I mean, that list would just continue to go on. All right. So let me jump down a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll continue reading verse three. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, which we know that's speaking about NATO because America pretty much leads NATO. All right. It says, um. It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. You know, America America's the highlight of the world, you know. All countries want to be like America other than the, those uh, Arab countries and then the Chinese, you know, the Chinese. Which the Chinese desire to be like America too. The, the Moabites, they desire to be like America too. They just don't actually want to be America like the other countries do. Russia doesn't want to be America, but Russia and China both have taken after the same policies like America has, all right? It says, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornications and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, man. And that's exactly what America is and what America represents is uh, harlot, a, a, a lot of harlotism, if that's a word. All right, and abominations in the earth, man. This is the wicked city, man. All right, this this place is is disgusting. Okay. Now I'm gonna jump down. Uh, uh, 
I'm gonna jump down just to get to uh, this point. All right, it says, oh, right here, I'm gonna start at 15. It says, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, right? And, hey, that's everybody else in the world, which is gonna hate America. That already do secretly hate America, but it has to do deals with America due to all these uh, 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 treaties that they have uh, doctored up, or America gives them some type of aid for them to be able to fight against this or that, or some type of money to be able to fucking um, uh, uh, build this and that, right? It says, uh, in the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, man. That's speaking about that thermonuclear destruction that's coming to America. Because why? Because all these countries are gonna start to hate the whore. Let's look at this word, hate. Let's look at this word, hate. Everybody thinks the Bible is all about love, man. They're they're sadly mistaken. All right. Strong's G thirty four oh four, Maceo. Maceo. Maceo hate used forty one times. Hateful as one to hate, pursue with hatred, detest, to be hated, detest, um, to detest, detest, uh, by extension, to love less. <laughs> All right. It says um. Uh, Let's see. To hate, pursue with hatred, detest, uh, be hated, detested. That's all America is. All right. It says, um, uh, let's see. Uh, the signification to love less, to postpone in love or esteem, to slight through oversight of the circumstances that the Orientals, in accordance with their greater, uh, so I can't. Uh, your greater uh, exibility or want both to feel and to profess love and hate alright you know that, uh, pretty much that was the point is to hate to disgust man you know or uh, uh, to, to, to detest the google definition of hate to f uh, feel intense or passionate dislike for someone or, or something all right, it says intense or passionate dislike. That's a that's hate, right? So it says that they're gonna hate the whore, man. They're gonna detest the whore. They're gonna hate the whore so much that they're gonna fucking burn her with fire, man. All right. <laughs> it says for the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill His wish and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, which is America, man. America leads the, the NATO. America got a strong hand in the European Union, even though it's not even a part of the European Union. All right. Um, and, you know, it goes on and on. All right. And pretty much people is coming down in the earth right now where either you're with America are you with Russia and China, man? You know, and that's leading up to that third world war. But pretty much that's the point, man. Your man, your, your man's here, Donald J. Trump. He's, 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 uh, this man is running full speed ahead, man. You know, he's got the turbo chargers going full speed ahead, uh, causing more, uh, uh, uproars of the people, causing, uh, more countries to turn on America. All right. And, um, uh, this guy, you know, I, I truly do believe this is the guy that's going to, uh, he's the one that's, that, that needs to be there for us to be able to get delivered the fuck out of here, out of America, man. All right. So, Mr. Donald, Donald J. Trump, man, continue doing what you're doing, you know, <laughs> continue doing what you're doing, you damn devil. And, um, you know, Lord willing, that was edifying. You know, all praise, glory, and honor unto the Most High Power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom, citation, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers out there, pushing this word with truth and with faith. Until next time, Shalom.